Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the hard drive on Linux, or the file system to be exact, from the terminal. So in this video in particular, I'm going to be using the ls and cd commands to move around, but if you don't like typing in cd and ls all the time to navigate your system the old-fashioned way, you can go ahead and check out the article that I wrote about this particular video. In the description of this video, we go over some pretty great command line file managers that make navigating through the command line quite easy. But to start off, you need to understand that there are two commands for navigating the Linux system. CD stands for change directories, and LS stands for list. So, for example, if I want to enter my documents directory, I can run the list command, ls. I can find my documents folder. Okay, now I know it's spelled documents, so I can type, type in doc. I can press the tab button, and it will auto-complete to documents. Or I can just type out the full word. Always remember to add a slash at the end, because that means it's a folder. Because if you have, uh, say, a file called documents as well, it'll try and open that, and it won't work. So, as you can see, documents is a directory. So I can do cd documents. Now I'm in the documents directory, and once again, I can run ls to see what's in here. So now I can see there's this file by license for a program that I own. Now if I want to go back into the home folder, into the previous directory, the home folder is this little tilde here. As you can see, tilde slash documents. It transforms into that. I can do cd dot dot. Now I'm back in the same directory that I was beforehand. Now this works with the top level system stuff too, so not just your home folder. So if you want to enter the root directory, you can do cd slash. You run ls and we can see here's a bunch of information on our system. We can see my swap file I set up. You can see the user, all this stuff. I want to, If I want to go into the, let's say the safest place to go is the temporary directory, I can do cd tmp. And I can see there's a bunch of info, information, a bunch of files and folders in the temp directory. And if I want to go back to root, dot slash. Now, you don't have to enter a folder to see the contents of it. You can also just do, we go back to home here with a tilde forward slash. We can run the ls command. And if we want to see what's in this pictures folder without actually entering it, we can also just do ls pictures. And I can see all of the files that I have in my pictures folder without even having to go in there. So that's how you browse the Linux file system with the commands. I always just use CD and LS because I'm old fashioned that way. But uh, you can also use the command line file managers that I've covered in the article. But uh, just to recap, LS to view the top level directory that you're in and then find the name of your folder that you want to go into and then do CD name of the folder. And then you run LS once again. And once you're in the folder to find other stuff you need. So if you wanted to open up this file, or unzip this or maybe uh, go into disk images or whatever you can do that and that's how that all works anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you didn't know how to move through your linux system through the command line now you do i will see you guys in the next video